Hi, this is Simon Upstall, and today I'm going to give an answer to a question that's often put to me, and that's, why on earth would you use Apple Motion when you could use Adobe After Effects, which is obviously so much better? And I'm going to give you a very short answer, and then I'm going to explain the reasoning behind that answer. So the very short answer is one word, namely efficiency. Motion means that I can work much, much faster. But that's the kind of claim that's often made about particular applications, and it's hard to really verify how true that is. So what I thought I'd do is look at a recent project that I've been working on and see what the relative performance of Motion and After Effects actually is. But I just want to apologise at this point for the audio quality here. Somebody's operating a very loud leaf blur right outside my edit suite, so it's a bit noisy. Sorry about that. So the project in question is a tutorial I've just made, which is sort of a shimmering ocean effect. So it kind of looks like this in its, its very basic form. And it comprises four pre-rendered layers that look like this. So each of these layers is 3840 by 3840. So 3840 by 3840 pixels. And they've been rendered out as ProRes proxy. So there's four of them. And they are composited together using the add blend mode in this case. And right at the back, I've got a color solid. The actual project is 1920 1080 it's 24 frames a second and we've got a duration of five seconds and what i've done is i've animated the camera to fly over this sparkling sea now i want you to look up here and notice that in motion despite the fact i'm actually currently doing a screen recording i'm still getting 24 frames a second playback uh, and i can for example leave that playing and I can add a glint and it will carry on playing. It'll quickly pick back up to, there you go, back up to 24. As I say, it's being slowed down just a tiny bit by the fact that I'm doing a screen recording. So to make this just the same as the After Effects projects I'm going to show you, I'm going to add a light and make it ambient. So now we've got a 3D group, a camera, these four layers and a background solid. So let's skip over to After Effects and make a comparison. So here we are, I've tried to set it up exactly the same. So we've got black solid at the back, we've got our four elements there. Just going to remove that adjustment layer because it's not relevant here. We've got an ambient light and an animated camera. Now you'll remember that in motion I was getting real-time playback at full resolution. So I've set this to full resolution. So let's just have a look at what happens when we hit playback. And I want you to look at the performance here. We're getting somewhere between two and three frames per second. And this is very slowly caching. And it's going to take a whole 60 seconds to cache just this five second clip. Uh, so anyway, now we're we're ready to go and uh, it's playing back. But of course, there's no way that I could then make any changes in the way that I did in, uh, in motion. I mean, we could add an adjustment layer, but that's going to immediately kill my cache. So it's going to have to re-render. And I want to add a glow because I don't have an, a glint equivalent. So let me add a glow there. Still, we're down here at two, one, two frames a second. Uh, and obviously the cache has been deleted and it's got to recache. So obviously there are occasions when After Effects will intelligently cache and slightly reduce the amount of time one needs to take over it. But I think I need to make the point again that whereas in motion I can be working on this particular scene and making live updates as it plays back full resolution in real time. Every time, pretty much, that I want to make a change in After Effects, the cache is cleared, playback stops, and it has to recache. So over the course of a graphics project of this nature, 
you can imagine the difference that makes. Every single time I want to review the entire five second composition, I have to wait one whole minute, whereas in motion I don't have to wait any time at all. So to recap, that is very simply the reason that I think motion is a very worthwhile application. It means I can work many times more efficiently on a whole range of different projects. It's not to say that After Effects isn't obviously superior in almost every other respect. It's just that that efficiency in terms of working to a deadline is something that really has huge importance. In actual fact, until I did this particular test, I wasn't really aware of quite how significant the difference in performance actually could be on this sort of project. So it's been an eye-opener for me as well, and I hope it's been interesting to you. And uh, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.